In today's video, I'll be breaking down Let's Do It music video by Lil Baby. Featuring Playboy Cardi, the video is absolute banger. And I also like the song, even though I'm not a big Cardi fan. The song is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And I think Playboy Cardi actually rolling out this new theme of music videos where it's of tons of flickers and tons of like Roto effects and stuff. So I'm gonna break down some for y'all in this video. So the first effect I'll be breaking down is this crazy flicker effect with these all these crazy Rotos. So so to start that effect i have this clip right here i grabbed it from music video so first thing what we're gonna do is uh, rotoscope out our main subject for me it's carty right here so i'm just gonna quickly rotoscope him out so i'm gonna hit ctrl d on my original footage to duplicate it and my resolution is in full so i'm gonna go into the roto brush panel by double clicking and just quickly rotoscope out my subject just brush over to rotoscope rotoscope is pretty easy but if you don't already know you just gotta like brush over and if you make mistakes and stuff you can actually hold alt and delete those so yeah it's really easy so let me just do that real quick now you can see my roto brush is almost done but make sure to freeze it so it like locks in your rotoscope so let it freeze for a minute and our rotoscope will be done and ready to go so now it's done if we go back into our composition panel and hide our background layer you can see our rotoscope is looking pretty good but you can refine it by going into feather and just like shift edge a little bit so it actually becomes perfect right there now we can start creating that effect right here so firstly what i'm going to do is is just make a rectangle mark so it creates some black border at the edges so for that just go into this tool which is called it's called rectangle tool right here or hit q on a keyboard and just make a rectangle right here something like this as in the carty music video according to his music video so i don't like this or maybe you can like adjust it accordingly so maybe something like that. and now to add those crazy flicker in the background there's a lot of method to do it but the one they used is they used a lot of solids in a blank space go over to new go over to solid and create a white solid right here make sure it's white and hit ok and then go into beginning and skip like two frames and just cut it so something like this two frame flash and put it below all of your clip now to make it flicker though we're gonna duplicate it every other two frames so just hit ctrl d and after two frames paste it over there ctrl d right here go two frames again and ctrl d and now if you play that through you can see we have that crazy like background flicker effect already going on now we can actually duplicate it again put it over here like that and one more time around like here so now if i play that through you can see it, it looks insanely dope to make it more dynamic i'm gonna add adjustment layer and add something like a transform so transform right here and scale it in at the beginning so 120 at the scale at the beginning and as it goes just reset it to 100 and what it will do is add a scale animation which will make it all come together and as in the actual effect we're gonna add some text so for that again right click on blank space go which new create text and just write whatever you want i'm gonna write like something like yvl for life or some shit yeah something like this the font i recommend using is anton to create those like opm type of effect i think his editor uses a similar font to anton so yeah go with something like this and just like put it wherever you want as in the video i'm gonna put it right here and then we're gonna make it pop in every other two frames again so we're gonna copy this two frames like that and you can also make it out something like this and we're gonna put this below so we have it like popping in there like that we can copy it once more put it over here put it over here at uh, like here yeah something like that and now finally what i like to do is create an adjustment layer so creating an adjustment layer right here and i like to use a grunge fx on top to add those crazy like grungy effect on top as on music video so for that i'm open up my grunge effect i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out but after you install it go over to user presets and you can see us in the ultimate grunge bundle open that up open up the add-on and the default and from right here you can start adding some crazy like grungy effects as you can see all of these are insanely hard so yeah just like go through and see what works the best i think something like 12 fps would look crazy so let me add that and now if you play that through 
you can see that looks insanely hard before and after the pack is so goated at creating these type of grungy effects so yeah make sure to check that out i also really like the preset insane zoom so i'm gonna add it right here this is meant to be like few frame long so i'm gonna just do that and now if you play that through you can see it as this crazy insane zooms into your music videos so yeah you can add these on the start before your main adjustment layer where you have the text on so yeah this is really dope for adding those insane distortion with it and also i'm going to the frame rate and set it to something like 16 because 12 is too like laggy for me and now if you play that through you can see we have this crazy effect going on already so yeah our first flicker effect is done now let's just move into our second effect which will be this play screen with these rotors effects with the i am music type of theme i don't even know how to call it but yeah it looks cool so let me show you how to do it so for that as you can see i have this clip from the same music video what we gonna do is select our rotor brush again and quickly rotoscope out our subject i already showed you how to rotoscope so i'm not gonna go too in depth right now but yeah just roto your, your subject out basically and then after you have your rotoscope done if you go into your main panel you can see it is rotoscoped out and we're gonna do the same thing basically we're gonna duplicate this clip and just take the rotoscope from the bottom layer so we have our like subject separated basically now for the yvr look what i have is the screenshot right here i'm gonna use so i'll link it in the description uh i'll put it into drive so you can download but anyways i'm gonna just drag it into our timeline and just lower down the size and put it between our rotoscope and our footage layer so something like this and just turn on proportional grid for now so we get the idea and put it at one side so i don't like here you can even stretch it as carty does so bring up scale and unlock it and just stretch it accordingly something like this yeah something like this now you can see we are getting the similar look but i think it is looking choppy because the edges are too bold so, so i'm gonna just crop the edges of this yvl and also stretch it more so anything according to your liking and for me i guess that looks cool enough as the music video so this was the effect we're trying to recreate and yeah that looks cool now on top as i said you can use a grunge effects to blend everything in so i'm gonna add adjustment layer i guess these effect looks way better with any type of grunge effect on top for me i'm gonna use my own pack so you can add these type of synth as well these synth goes hard so this also goes hard as you can see and even like these type of synth but for me i think i'm gonna go for a camcorder look so we have more texture yeah something like this and i also want a flicker on below so i'm gonna create another adjustment layer and just use like s flicker for the flicker in the background and bring up the amount then you can pre-comp all of these i actually pre-comp it onto a new comp after you pre-comp i like to add another adjustment layer with the insane zoom preset at the starting to add some insane zooms as the name says but yeah that's how the yvl effect is done now let's just move into our third effect which would be this really simple jitter effect for that again i have the same clip because i couldn't find like unique clip every time so so sorry if you if the video gets repetitive but i'm just showing you the method to create some unique effects so it doesn't really matter but anyways to create those jitter effects it's really like this two method so i'm going to show you both of those so the first method will be a simple one with no plugin required so for that i'm gonna just duplicate our clip and make it like few frames so maybe like two frames and we're gonna hit a y in our keyboard to bring up this tool this tool allows you to like scrub through music videos so just like drag along so it goes like few frame forward and now that way you can see that two frames add those zeta effect now you can copy this two frame and make it one frame and hit y again and just drag it in maybe at the starting this time so you get those zeta effect again and now duplicating it one more time putting it right here and doing the same thing maybe something like that and i'm gonna duplicate the one framer again and maybe something like this and lastly i'm gonna duplicate it once more it um, like here and make it it make it in the starting so yeah you can repeat this as much as you like but yeah that's how you create like simple jitter using no plugin but if you have sapphire what i recommend using is something like it's called sapphire jitter it adds those crazy jitter frame really insanely 
with customizable values so you can customize it accordingly to get like different uh, jitter and if you have my pack the add-on which requires sapphire there's a lot of like these type of reverse edits so you can see it looks crazy from the grunge fx again speed up is also crazy but the add-on requires sapphire so make sure you have sapphire before doing but yeah that's how you create those insane jitter fa using sapphire jitter or the normal one now moving on we're gonna recreate this effect right here this crazy like yvl effect again so for that i had this clip right here which i'm gonna add the effect on so firstly what we're gonna do again is just like duplicate the clip and just quickly rotoscope out our subject again so yeah let me just do that real quick as i said i already showed you rotoscope so i'm not gonna go in depth right now now after you've done your rotoscope just go back into your main composition and if i hide the background layer you can see our rotoscope is done actually we don't need the background layer so we're gonna keep it hidden and drag on that screenshot again so i'm gonna drag on the screenshot and just adjust it accordingly so somewhere on like here put our footage layer above that actually and you will have an ugly collage like this but don't worry what we're gonna do is go like few frame forward and trim it and also trim our background layer and put our background layer on on front as well and now here's a little tricky part just turn on your background layer which is this so let me let me name it bz and roto so it's clear roto right here we're gonna select this background layer and just like draw a rectangle tool over this like white area of the yvl sign so let me just do that real quick so so for that make sure your background layer is invisible for now and go over to where it says rectangle tool or just hit q in your keyboard and just draw a rectangle like this right here here. so something like this on the background layer and now if you turn that on you can see we have that crazy yvl effect in there now we can put it a bit further if you like but yeah that's how we do it maybe i'm gonna bring up the composition duration so it's easier for y'all to see so something like this and something like this now in between these cuts as in the music video if i show you they use like a flash in here so to recreate that what we can do is select our roto layer and like trim it trim the first frame of it something like this and then add like a flash in there so for that i'll add exposure and just bring up the exposure accordingly and you can even add like a lumetri color if you want to play with the temperature and stuff as done in the video so maybe something like this and now if you play that through you can see we have this crazy flash effect with it so yeah really cool effect you can add into your music videos at the top as i said to top it all off always try to add some kind of flicker helps with the overall opium theme but if you grab the pack in the description you can also use it to create effects like these looks really hard but yeah with that i think we are done in the music video there's more effects but all of those are really simple i just gone through whatever i thought looked cool but yeah go watch the original music videos and get some ideas for your next edit please consider hitting like button because it helps a lot and also subscribe to the channel for more sources like these download grunge fx in the description and also comment down below if you have some any unique effect you want me to break down i'm always happy to hear your guys thoughts but anyways i'm gonna see you on the next one peace